In this chapter, I'll show you how to install the TK9 modules and open them in Photoshop if you haven't done that already. I'll also show you how to uninstall and manage Photoshop plugins. These days, all of this is done through the Adobe Creative Cloud desktop app. There are nine separate TK9 plugins or modules. You install each one individually. They work independently of each other, so you can install as many or as few of the modules as you like, but most people install all of them. If you're a TK8 user, don't uninstall TK8 before installing TK9. TK9 will overwrite TK8 so that your settings can automatically be transferred to TK9. Installing TK9 does replace TK8 but the main layout and features of TK8 have not changed much, so transitioning to TK9 is quite easy and TK8 is no longer needed. For all users, note that TK9 requires Photoshop version 23.3.0 or newer, and the color grading feature in the Multimass module requires at least Photoshop version 24.6.0 or newer. As of recording, all TK9 modules and features should also work in Photoshop beta if you're using that. If you haven't updated Photoshop recently, I would recommend checking for updates in the Creative Cloud app before installing TK9. So here's how to install TK9. Start by opening the TK9 zip folder that you downloaded. Inside, you'll find a folder with the complete TK9 instruction manual and some other documents. You'll also find the installation instructions document, which covers the same information that this video does. And finally, you'll see the installer files for the TK9 modules. On your desktop, create a new folder and name it TK9 or something like that. Then select all of the files in the download folder and copy them over to this new folder. And then you can close the download folder. After we're done with installation, you can delete the download folder and move the new folder to a different location on your computer if you don't want to leave it out on your desktop. Wherever you put that folder, keep track of it in case you ever need to reinstall the TK9 modules, and also so you can reference the user manual when you need it. Also, make sure to save the email that contains your download link. Your link can be used to re-download TK9 in the event of a hard drive crash. This is the TK9 version number. From time to time, Tony Kuiper may release new versions to fix bugs or introduce new features. You'll also use your download link to download any new versions when they come out, making it all the more important to save that email. Now, open Photoshop if it's not open, and I'll just minimize it for now. And to install a TK9 module, simply double-click on the .ccx file. When you do that, the Creative Cloud Desktop app opens up. If you have a corresponding TK8 module installed or have previously installed the same TK9 module and are updating it, a window called Replace Current Version will open. In this case, I have my TK8 version of the combo module installed, so this is telling me it will be replaced with the TK9 combo module, and right here you would click Continue. However, if you're installing TK9 for the first time, a window called Install a Non-Marketplace Plugin will open instead, and in that window, you would just click Install. So I'll click Continue, and now click OK in this window, and this green message box will open to let you know the installation was successful. If the Creative Cloud app doesn't open when you double-click an installer file, go to the installation document and scroll down to the troubleshooting section. Here, follow the installation troubleshooting tips. As with any Photoshop or computer issues that you might run into, the first troubleshooting step is always to shut down your computer and restart it. Now, to install more modules, just repeat those same steps for all the modules you want to install. 
Double click an installer file, click continue, click OK, and close the green box. And I'll fast forward to speed things up. In Windows, the modules should open in the corner of your screen as you install them, or if you're on a Mac, when you go to Photoshop, they should all be there in your Photoshop workspace. I'll just quickly move them all out here into the workspace. If the modules don't open immediately, you can also open them manually by going to the plugins menu in Photoshop and clicking on each module's name. The TK9 user license allows you to install the modules on two different computers that you own. I have TK9 installed on both my desktop computer and my laptop. To install TK9 on your second computer, you can either transfer a copy of the TK9 folder using something like a flash drive, or you can use your download link to download TK9 to the second computer. Then simply follow the same installation steps again. Once installed, your TK9 plugins are managed through the Adobe Creative Cloud desktop app. To manage your plugins, open the app, and go to Stock and Marketplace, and then click on the Plugins tab. And now click on Manage Plugins. Here you can view all of the plugins that you have installed. To uninstall a plugin, click the three dots, and then click Uninstall. There's really only one reason you might uninstall a Photoshop plugin, and that is if you simply don't want it to be installed any longer. If you're reinstalling TK9 for any reason, such as to do an update to a newer version, there's no need to remove the previous version. Installing a module will overwrite the previous one. If you do decide to uninstall any of the TK9 modules, but you also want to be able to recover your custom module settings and presets in the future, make sure to watch the chapter on backing up and restoring module settings before you uninstall. Installing and using TK9 works flawlessly for nearly everyone, but every so often there is a problem. If you have a problem with installation, I already mentioned the installation troubleshooting steps at the end of the installation document, and there are also some other troubleshooting tips at the end of the instructions manual as well. These troubleshooting tips are where you should start if you run into any problems. If you still aren't able to solve an issue, you can contact the person you purchased TK9 from, either Tony Kuiper or me. Tony and I don't have access to each other's customer records, so contacting the person you purchased the plugin from is helpful. We are also better able to identify the problem if you include clear information about what you're experiencing and any error messages that might have popped up. In addition, if you can include screenshots or screen capture video depicting the issue, it would be extremely helpful. Now that we have TK9 installed, in the next chapter, I'll show you how to configure your color space settings for optimal results when making masks and editing images.